Mark looks like he's only straight because coming out seemed like a bummer. Uh, uh, true. Seemed like a lot of work. I just, first of all, I just want to say, this was not fair scheduling this during Pride. This, this, is like, this is like battling a werewolf during a full moon. This is not fair at all. I just, I do want to say, though, happy Pride and happy Juneteenth, probably. I don't... Maybe. Was that, was that it? That is it. Okay. Mark looks like... I couldn't tell. <laughs> Mark looks like he's in witness protection from cyberbullying. Oh. Uh, uh, Queenie looks like uh, Jesus if he turned water into KY jelly. I would also be more ethnically accurate. Yeah, truly. That is a joke. Queenie only got... Jesus only got nailed by Italian men once. That's not... Oh, my God. Mark quit drinking because he was, and I quote, sucking too much dick. And I want to be clear, I'm not putting words in his mouth. He said it, okay? Because as I just established, that's not what he wants me to put in his mouth. That's true. This is the cyberbullying I was talking about. This is, I didn't, uh, no, I'm not, I'm not a bad person at all. I'm actually raising money to get bottom surgery for Queenie. Uh, hopefully by the end of this month, I'll have enough money to get this bottom lobotomized. I think we can... I'm just saying, I need, I do need, we do need a blood donor, so... If anyone here is HIV positive, that, that would be nice. Okay, you tent to bunny find. look alike. They're not allowed to donate blood. It's tough to get them in the system. Yeah. Mark looks like he gave a girl a ride home once and she was never seen again. <laughs> She's in the basement if you want to see her. I don't know. She's there. Um, Queenie looks like if, uh, if Michael Jackson tried to transition back to being black. If, like... Annie, Annie is not okay. There is a bulge in those Billy jeans, if you know what I mean. Honestly, this is how he would look. Um, Mark tried to catch herpes once, uh, but herpes said no. Herpes these days, tough to, let's see. Um, I, uh, you might recognize uh, Queenie as a contestant on RuPaul's Ambiguous Race. Um, no, but Queenie is half black, so you don't have to worry about her competing in women swimming because she'll drown. <laughs> My mom was white, she taught me how to swim. Damn right. I grew up in the suburbs, I obviously know how to swim. You know what? We're not so different, you and I. <laughs> They put us apart, but really, we should be... <laughs> Instead of Pornhub, Mark just Googles women sleeping. Oh. He likes snoring videos, because then he knows it's real. Yeah. I need someone to fall asleep with me, all right? I'm lonely, all right? Don't get... I, um, don't say all. Now they feel bad for him. I know. <laughs> No, Queenie, Queenie goes by Queen, but Queenie looks more like what would have happened if Meghan Merkel had been in Princess Diana's car. Oh. Too soon for the Princess Diana jokes? Okay. Is 25 years not enough time? Last joke. You look like Charles Manson without the charisma. Um, Mark's scared to move out of his apartment because that's where all of his exes are buried. That's true. Uh... Queenie uh, is what crawls out of your TV if you watch Euphoria after midnight. Give it up for them, everybody. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. Great work. Great fucking work. Oh, man. Damn. Pride Month. And Juneteenth, and this is what we do here at Roast Battle Chicago. <laughs> That's double jeopardy. We're done. This is the last show. 
I do want to get first thoughts from Peyton Ruddy. What did you think about what happened up here? Hello? Okay. <laughs> uh, I thought it was pretty great. Uh, Mark, uh, you do look like a serial killer, what, what, but you had a great set. Uh, what would your name be? Ted Fundy? All right. Um, oh. All right. He also murdered women. And um, Queenie, I don't really know what's going on with you, so I'm going to be quiet. But um, I, I don't... <laughs> I think it's more offensive if I ask pronouns and stuff, and I just get maybe gay. I this is just a genuine. Please book me at the Laugh Factory, by the way. I uh, I know you're seeing my texts anyway. Um, but the battle, the battle was. <laughs> the, the comics loved that one. Anyway, um, no, but I thought that was fucking a uh, heater to start. And uh, Queenie, you had. You had some fucking killer jokes. Mark also had some great jokes, but Mark, your comebacks were just too good. So I'm going to give it to Mark. Okay, Mark with a vote. Give it up for him. Very good. Stephanie. Oh, man, that was a really great battle to start with, so good job to the both of you. I really like this battle because I like... Mark, you look like you would eat a chicken wing down to the bone to impress black people, and... <laughs> and That's good. They invited me to the cookout. I have to yeah, show up. yeah. I gotta make sure I get a return in. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Queenie just looks like she'd eat the bone, you know? So, I, <laughs> so it was really fun to watch you two go at it. I gotta say, I mean, Queenie, you're amazing at this. You had a, a great uh, battle up there. But Mark, you, you just, you knocked it out of the park with this one. And the euphoria after midnight, really <laughs> cherry on top. So I'm giving it to Mark McParlin. Mark would too. Keep it going from Mark. Yeah. One more win in the White's tool belt. That's pretty, pretty good. First of all, you're not one of us. You don't even, I don't know what you are. Wait. That's, Wait, does that mean Curtis? Can I say it? Um, <laughs> tell me. I'm heading uh, now. That is that Lebanese humor I love so much, or whatever you are. Oh, fuck. Speaking of whites, Kevin Kellum. Oh, great. Thanks, Mark. You really put me in a great position there. <laughs> Mark, you were doing this battle like you're worried your suburb is going to turn a little too gay. <laughs> you were like, I have to defend the homeland. Yeah, damn right. <laughs> Not during June. We're taking it back. <laughs> uh, but no, I really liked it. That last joke, it, for me, it was neck and neck. Uh, and Queenie clearly has a long neck. But this was neck and neck. <laughs> and, oh, she's tall. Calm down. All right. Uh, no, but I really liked it. Queenie, so some really great jokes. I enjoyed uh, the early ones. It was very close, but that euphoria joke at the end got me. So I'm going, I'm going with Mark. Mark's the winner of the battle. Give it up for him. Yeah. Let's give, let's give some final thoughts, though, from Leah K. Janie. And what did you think? Um, well, I think Mark looks like the guy on the picture of every Halloween costume in the superstore. Yeah. <laughs> and Queenie looks like she works there. Yeah. I don't know. I, Mark, you hit on everything you're supposed to say to make fun of gay people, right? You said HIV, and you said pride, and it was still fucking funny. And it, oh, yeah. Um, but, Queenie, I thought you didn't get a lot of credit, and some of those were really good. And I, I thought it was really close, too, but then that last one, I think, got it. So. Okay. One more for Mark. Also made fun of him halfway through that. It's like, ah, you're a hack, but you, you won, I guess. Um, <laughs> I do want final, win. <laughs> I want final thoughts from Curtis. What do you think? Uh, this whole time, I thought your name was Mark McParkland. Like the Parkland My shooting? Mistake. It would fit. My mistake. It would fit. My mistake. Um, I wanted to give it to Queenie because I feel like you represent the diversity in the whole show. You check every box. And I don't want Zany that. Zany needs don't that. Don't give me Zany's, that. Zany's needs that. I don't know if you've seen that. No, um, oh. But, battle. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Um, it was really great. Um, yeah, Mark with the euphoria at the end, and I just saw the Kendrick thing, so I just had to go. I had to do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Queenie gets a vote. Give it up for her and give it up for both of them for starting off the show so great. Good job, guys. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs>